was his student assistant. He taught me all of my stagecraft. It was great. As students, we would rip a show out of his theater and throw it all out onto Park Street, and he'd go out and pull the nails out with a hammer, grumbling about those blankety blank kids who don't respect anything, and put all of these rusty nails in Folger's tin cans back in the shop. The next time we loaded in a show, and we needed one four penny nail, Gene had it, it was bent, it was rusty, but he had one. <laughs> um, as I, as my, I had children, I'd tell them stories about, that all started out, Gene Hodgen was a crusty old stagehand. <laughs> but he was really a nice guy, and he was. Um, later in his life, after Mary died, I reconnected with him, and he, his memory was slipping. But I was able to get enough of his stories from his youth that as I'd have lunch with him, I would trace back, start today, and then work back, and eventually got back to the point he was nine years old with a guy named Phil Service. And this is classic Gene. He lived in a house that had a telephone pole and a tree. They rigged up a trapeze because they wanted to be in the circus when they were nine. <laughs> so they did this when they were nine, when they were 10, and their feet would hit the ground so they could really no longer swing from the ladder and grab on the trapeze bar on the other end. So he dug a hole. <laughs> when I cleared, worked to clear out his house, which now Gene Hot, or rather, well, I've done this to him before, <laughs> but, um, that another brother lives in now, um, I found the trapeze. He never threw anything out. But when, when I was voted into the local in November of 1977, I proudly went to the Union Theater. Gene had been in that meeting to vote one way or the other. And I said, Gene, Gene, I got in. He said, I know, I voted against you. <laughs> <laughs> you got too many blankety blank members. <laughs> uh, so even with all of that, I think that Gene typified and exemplified what stagecraft and being stagehand is about. So um, thanks to ETC, but really in Gene's honor, cheers to Local 251. Thank you. Thank you.